It's time to change the serpentine belt in the Honda communal. It's 2012 Honda Ridgeline. It's uh, embarrassing enough that my friends drive Fords and GMs and Dodge Rams, but to have this annoying squeak, that's pretty embarrassing. And it gets worse when it's damp and wet out. When you hear that annoying squeak, chances are it's your serpentine belt. So we're going to replace the serpentine belt today. Very, very easy job, very low skill level, and uh, hope this helps you out. All you need is, as far as tools go is a 10 millimeter socket on a fairly long extension helps and that's to get at the grounding wire bracket and then we have a breaker bar with a 14 mil socket on it and that's to relieve the tensioner to release the belt. So 10 millimeter socket, and loosen off this bracket. You just need to move it out of the way. It's pretty tight quarters, but you can see the tensioner in there. And I'm just gonna slide the breaker bar onto that nut. 14 mil nut. I'm just going to push it towards the cab and that'll uh, allow me to get at the belt. And just pop it off like that and release the uh, pressure on that bar. Just pay attention how that belt is wound around there. So I'm just going to sketch it out here. You got a big pulley. You get that little tensioner. There's a little pulley right underneath it. And on the bottom of the motor, there's actually two big pulleys like this. And then you've got your alternator over here. So the, the actual uh, belt goes like this. Goes around that bottom pulley, around those bottom two, and then up like that. So now when I got this out, I've got this drawing to go off of mine. it. I'm going to start when I put the belt on it with this bottom pulley just in case you can't see it that well in the video and then we'll, uh, we'll wind it around the rest and away we go. There doesn't appear to be a direction of travel or anything on this. Get it under all those cables. There, there. Give that tensioner bearing a spin too, just to make sure it's not squeaking. It should spin freely and you shouldn't feel any resistance at all in there. Any grinding feeling or resistance indicates that your bearing's shot and you have to replace it. But that feels good. The bottom's both on there. I can start moving it around. The breaker bar is going to go under that belt. I'm going to pull it off the top pulley again. Or else you're going to have it not around that tensioner. There you go. off the tensioner. Put that bracket on.
and it's done. Silence is golden. <laughs>